What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have a data download for the Treasure Map Sugo Fest and this was a bit left field. We were not really expecting another legend to debut in this Sugo Fest but we're getting one and it is going to be the Mr. 2 Bon Clay that was voted for quite a while back. Uh, bon Clay was chosen to be a legend and he is going to be debuting right here on this Treasure Map Sugo Fest. So this TM Sugo Fest is going to be debuting on January 14th, 1900 PST time. I believe the actual event itself doesn't start until like the 19th, 18th or 19th. So it's quite a long way away, but they're starting the Sugo Fest very early. So we've got part one here. We'll go through all the details in a moment. Part one here is on the 14th. Part two is here on the 15th. One thing to note about part two is that you see in the top left hand corner, Jimbe and Robin are going to be there on part two. And then on part three, Nami and Usopp are going to be there. And that is going to be on the 16th of January. Now this Sugo Fest is going to be including all of the past treasure map characters that Global hasn't had access to because obviously we skipped quite a few treasure maps. So um, there's a lot of available characters here and a lot of them are really, really good. So on this banner here, you can see that there's Rob Lucci and Eneru, Karasu and Amole. Those are from other treasure maps. And then on this banner here, we've got a Brook, Nami, Zoro and a Sanji. And on this banner, we've got Denjiro, Osuru and Denjiro and Kenimon. I, I definitely said one of those twice, but either way, um, there's multiple different units on each part. And the thing about it is, is you have to select which banner you want to pull on, because if you go to the step details, step two, three, and four, it says a guaranteed recommended unit, which means it's one of these units you see on the banner here. I think that for most people, part one will be the best, because I think that gives you a pretty good opportunity to get some good units here because I think the Rob Lucci, the NL, the Karasu, and the Lindbergh, they're all fantastic. They've all got really good support as I'm not trying to pull there, of course. Um, but then you've got this one here. Like, all of these units are okay. Um, some of them aren't the best, though. Like, I think a lot of these supports uh, only, like, reduce debuffs by one turn instead of two turns, like a lot of really good supports are. I believe the Nami support on this one is really bad, but, like, the Zoro was really good from Recollection, and I remember the Brook or the Sanji. One of those two was also incredibly good. And then on this one, um, all three of these, I think, were actually okay as well. But anyways, um, let's actually talk more about the Sugo Fest. You see that there is a discount on the first multi. That's awesome. And then three steps in a row of a guaranteed recommended unit, which, of course, is guaranteeing you one of these units right here on the banner artwork. And, of course, depending on which banner you pull on, um, because the artwork actually changes, you get a chance at different characters. So take that as you will. But then you've got a guaranteed legend on the fifth multi. You've also got a guaranteed legend or rate boost on the sixth. The seventh multi multi actually guarantees you one of the new characters. If it's Caesar or Ivankov, it'll be a gold poster. If you get a red poster on the seventh multi on the 11th poster, it is going to be the new Bon Clay character, which we'll talk about all these new characters in just a moment. And then of course, uh, these steps will be repeating, you know, they'll be cycling through the entire way. And then the, the 25th multi is the guaranteed Bon Clay. I do not suggest doing that, by the way. Uh, I think Bon Clay is interesting, but I don't think he's worth 25 multis. That's for damn sure. So I guess, Without further ado, let's actually start talking about all these brand new units. So there's a lot of new units to talk about. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. We have this Morley character here, a Dex Free Spirit Striker. It was a Halloween unit that came out with, uh, obviously, the Halloween celebration and Halloween Koala. Now, Lindbergh, Lindbergh, <laughs> Morley Special reduces Despair and Attack Down and also Chain Multiply Growth Rate by five turns and also changes Type Slots into Matching and also reduces Rainbow Shield by five turns. That's a really good utility support special. And then his support effect attaches to essentially the revolutionary army characters and once per quest if you're inflicted with despair or attack down it reduces it by one so pretty typical regular support you know only by one isn't the best but that's definitely going to help you in a lot of cases for sure the next one from the Halloween batch also is Karasu, who is an Int Free Spirit Cerebral. Special reduces Bind and Paralysis and Chain Lock by 5 turns, changes Block into Matching, and then also reduces Threshold by 5 turns. So with this and more laid together, you get a guaranteed full board of slots and you remove like two of the most annoying defensive effects in the game. That's a really good combination of specials right there. And a support effect once again attaching to Revolutionary Army characters, reducing Bind and Paralysis by 1 when you're inflicted with it. Again, a pretty useful support that may have some need 
niche uses, which is pretty good. Now, the next one here is Eneru, who actually came out with Superclass Crocodile not that long ago in Japan. Um, this guy, from recollection, was very good. So his special, well, he's actually a Dex Cerebral Striker, but his special reduces Bind by 3, also reduces Damage Reduction and Threshold by 5. So both of those effects by 5 turns, and then gives you a 2 times Color Affinity boost to Striker and Cerebral. Pretty nice special, actually. And then he has a Support effect to Dex Cerebral units is only who he, he attaches to. But once per quest, if they launch the special, reduces Bind by 1, and then gives you a 1.5 Color Affinity boost to Cerebral units. That's a really unique effect that you get that effect upon activating the special. You get Color Affinity and Utility as well. That's a pretty good um, effect that I think is definitely going to see some play. I mean, attaching to Dex Cerebral, it's a little bit of a niche, you know, unit pool, but it's still pretty good either way. And then we've also got Rob Lucci, who is a quick powerhouse cerebral unit with a special that does a little bit of damage to the enemy that ignores all defense, including base defense, and then reduces burn and attack down by five turns and gives your powerhouse and cerebral characters a 2.25 times orb boost for one turn. Again, a really good special. And then his support attaching to some of the CP9 characters, which says that if you're inflicted with burn or attack down, you reduce it by two turns. That is really good. Burn and attack down removal by two Two turns in one support is ridiculous that is going to see a lot of play moving forward moved over to the other banner now to talk about some of the other new characters so we have this brook here this brook came out in the same month that um, Yamato actually came out on Japan so this unit we haven't had in a long time but special does health cut changes block and badly matching slots into matching and 90% damage reduction for two turns and then boost the color affinity of your whole team by 1.75 for two turns it's a pretty decent special and a support effect to Frankie and Kinney on if they use their special reduces all damage by 40 percent for one turn and adjacent slots are changed into matching that's a bit of a niche support i'm not the biggest fan of that one but you know he seems okay the next one though is nami so nami is a dex striker free spirit which reduces cooldowns by one bind special bind and burn reduced by five that's a great special and then gives you a bit of healing for three turns like that is a very unique effect and obviously uh, resisting special bind and also two turns of special reverse like this is a, a great special ability good artwork by the way but then unfortunately the support is just terrible only attaching to sanji and kinemon and in, you're inflicted with burn or bind you heal 5000 hp that's all it does it doesn't actually remove the burn it doesn't remove the bind Super unfortunate, um, Nami unfortunately not the best, but she does have hunger, which is kind of interesting. The next one here is Sanji. So Sanji is an int fighter free spirit with a special that changes recovery tandem G bomb to matching, and then also locks your slots for two turns, reduces resilience by five, and then removes all poison, and then boosts your cruise attack by 1.75 for three turns. A rainbow attack boost, also removing poison, gets around poison slots if you're ever in that situation. Resilience removal is interesting. All block is cool, and it's a two turn all block which is pretty unique. Um, that's a pretty good special. Also has hunger. Very interesting. Um, his support to Nami and Kinemon, if they use their special, locks your slots for one turn and then reduces resilience by one. Resilience removal is a bit niche, but the, the orb lock is very, very good. Attaching to Nami as well is pretty good. Not too many good Kinemons in the game, but attaching to Nami is good enough. Then we've also got Zor, who is a Dex slasher free spirit, or is a slasher driven, okay? Slasher driven with a special that reduces despair paralysis by five. That's really good. And then reduces all barriers by one and then gives you a two times orb boost for one turn that's a great special ability zora support at level five attaches to luffy and kinemon but it says that if you're inflicted with despair it reduces one turn of despair but then also reduces one turn of enemy barriers so that is a bit niche but like one thing that comes to mind would be like um doflamingo gap challenge where on the bato stage the enemy has a barrier and he also despairs you in that situation this would be a fantastic support to help you just get rid of some of that despair but also being able to remove one turn of barrier like pretty niche but also pretty good so now we moved on to part three to have a look at this last batch of treasure map rare recruit characters before we talk about the sugo fest exclusives so here we have otsuru who is a dex cerebral free spirit reduces one turn of cooldown cerebral characters type slots are matching for three turns reduces burn and chain multiply growth rate by four turns bit of it's just a utility special i don't think it's that good honestly i mean only making type slots matching only to cerebral a little bit too niche for my liking hopefully the support's good kinemon and odin and it says, if they use their special, makes cruise deck slots have matching slot effects, and that's it. Ah, oh, okay. Um, 
I mean, minus one cooldown is interesting. That could be useful. You know, minus one cooldown could be useful. The deck slots matching, not very good, especially because Kozuki Odin literally makes deck slots into Wano now. So, a bit weird, but either way, not the best TM rare recruit. Now, the next one here is Denjiro, who is a strength slash a cerebral. And it does a 10% health cut. And if there's four or more strength characters, you get a chain boost for one turn. And then gives your slasher and cerebral characters a two times all boost for one turn really good but then if you've got four or more decks or or int characters it will give you a 0.5 chain boost for three turns and then also gives you a 1.75 color affinity for three turns okay so if you've got strength units you get like a huge boost for one turn otherwise it'll be a like a relatively decent boost for three turns okay bit of an interesting special let's have a look at that support though kinemon and once again kozuki odin and it says if they use their special reduces all enemies health by five percent at the end of the turn for three turns that is ridiculously good you guys might not know how good that actually is the fact that it does it does a health cut for three turns what this means is is you can use this support to get around enemy resilience for free that is so good and it's another odin support he needs it that is fantastic i think support alone is what's really carrying this unit special ability is pretty bad though but that support is ridiculously good now the last one here before we talk about the actual brand new batch characters in the legends is kinemon so kinemon is also a strength unit slash a cerebral does also damage and will also reduce chain lock by six turns and boost slasher and cerebral characters attack by 2.25 for one turn not the greatest i mean the attack boost is nice but the utility effect is pretty mediocre his support though to odin and denjiro and it will say that if the crew is inflicted with chain lock it reduces it by two and then gives your slasher and cerebral characters a 1.3 attack boost okay it's not the best honestly kinemon's not that great uh denjiro is definitely the best one of this batch here so now we can actually talk about the brand new batch of treasure map rare recruit characters and the legends that are coming in this sugo fest the first one here is the ivankov this one let's go ahead and have a look now i have not read what this unit does yet so this is all fresh to me he he has hunger which is interesting special ability reduces despair by five two turn all block extends the crew's base attack boost by one turn and if you have six recovery slots boost the crew's attack by 2.25 for one turn otherwise it's a 1.75 times now i have read what uh bon clay does so if you've read what he does this unit partners like perfectly with the brand new bon clay understandable uh, i mean hypothetically if you don't use the bon clay it's still a good special despair removal two turn all block and it has the chance to you know increase the duration of your base attack boost and it is still a rainbow 1.75 attack boost it's fine but not broken uh let's just briefly look at that captain effect it is it is actually still usable like it's actually not the worst i suppose um it says additional 300 if you get a recovery slot and sets all slots to recovery at the start of the quest that's really good actually that's really really good and the support attaching to mr two and inazuma inazuma getting a brand new support if the character uses a special locks the crew slots for one turn and heals the crew by 1000 yo that is pretty good um again all blocking supports are so useful like i can't stress that enough i love all blocking supports so getting more access to this is so good of course it only attaches to mystic two with there aren't that many good mr twos and inazuma i mean there's only really one good inazuma so take that as you will but more all blocking supports the better and then the last brand new treasure map rare recruit before the legends is going to be caesar clown who is an int driven fighter character and his special will reduce bind by three completely removes all poison and if the captain is sire int poisons all enemies and gives you 1.75 times orb boosting effect but if the captain is strength x or quick doubles damage dealt to poisoned enemies and reduces damage taken by 60 percent for one turn okay makes sense that he has double special activation okay i actually kind of understand what's going on here okay so once you understand what bon clay actually does this special makes a lot more sense but trying to use this special in regular content just doesn't work unless if you got a dual unit dual units would work um but that's not the best it's a bit of a niche effect honestly nothing crazy there reduces all the cruise paralysis by one's pretty nice base attack boost all right let's check out the support to dofi virgo monet and kaido and if they use their special reduces bind by one and then boost damage dealt to enemies inflicted with a poison effect 
1.5 for one turn. He doesn't inflict the poison to them with the support, so it's not as good as the support rare recruit, but it's decent at least, because the, bi the bind is probably the best part of it. 1.5 conditional is super weird, though, considering he doesn't inflict it. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Not a big fan of the Caesar. Not a big fan of this unit at all. So we have the Mr. 2 Bond Clay here, but we're not going to talk about him just yet. We have to talk about the two other legends. We'll finish the video off with Bond Clay, the brand new character. Here we have Koala. So Koala, brand new super type character, is a Dex Fighter Free Spirit character with a captain effect that gives you 20% damage reduction, boosts Dex, Fighter, and Free Spirit characters by 5 times with a matching slot, 4.5 otherwise, boosts their recovery by 1.5, which is pretty good, and then also makes their strength and quick slots have matching slot effects, and also resists 10 turns of special reverse. Like, this is a pretty packed captain ability and captain ability alone it is pretty impressive i must admit very very good obviously you get access to super typing when you use her as a captain and it only activates if your entire crew is consisted of fighter and free spirit characters and that's it so not too hard of a condition very similar to like legend moria for example but the super type boosts your crew's maximum health by 20 percent and heals the crew by 30 percent of their max hp and it does allow you to overheal and then changes dex characters into super dex so this is a new mechanic that koala kind of implements where she has the ability to increase your crew's max health it's very interesting so basically if you have 100,000 health it gets buffed to 120,000 health and then it also provides a heal on top of it which can overheal that is what this character is all about this character is all about healing and providing a lot of health to your crew so let's have a look at the special ability it reduces the uh healing reduction effect um this is a very niche effect that doesn't really see that much play but uh, any effect that provides healing that reduces your health instead of you gaining it um it removes that by 10 turns and if your hp is full when the special is launched it boosts the color affinity of dex fighter and free spirit by 2.5 times for one turn otherwise it's a 2.25 times color affinity boost so again like pretty niche and color affinity boosting specials i'm not the biggest fan of like if this was an attack or all boost even some type of like guaranteed conditional boost would have been a lot better in my book but it is still a color affinity boost to fighter and free spirit which you can you can definitely use in your advantage having multiple different colored units so it's interesting but then on top of that if your crew's hp maximum hp is over 40,000 when you launch the special it heals the crew by 30,000 health that can overheal and if the crew's max HP is 40,000 or less when you launch the special, it boosts your crew's maximum health by 30% and then will provide that 30,000 healing that has the chance to overheal. This is, uh, again, pretty interesting. The fact that she provides like the increasing of your max health and then provides healing on top of it. So if you partner that with her super type, you're able to get a very very substantial amount of health so the way that this is kind of working is it wants you to use the special ability first after the specials launched then use the super types to extend the health even further beyond um yeah the amount of health that you can get with koala is pretty crazy i know during the treasure map of its release itself people had like 200 300 000 health i don't know if it was that high it was pretty high definitely with buffs and stuff you could get it like really really high it was crazy but um yeah interesting unit not the biggest fan of it myself but it's interesting nonetheless and it is a new legend um let's have a look at her crewmate effects um just attack boost to fighter and free spirit deck slots are matching with her crewmate effect and then for her potential abilities recovery bind she has pinch healing and she has enrage so very easy limit break abilities to max out her support effect attaches to fighter and free spirits which is pretty easy and then also just adds stats that's that's a little unfortunate which i wish it was a bit better than that is it wait what, what stats is it it's only HP and recovery. It's not even an attack boost, man. <sighs> okay. Anyways, uh, looking at the Rumble abilities, because obviously it's a legend. Let's have a look and see what they do in Rumble. So Koala gives your dex teammates level 5 attack, and if your team is 5 or more, it gives herself level 10 attack. That's pretty interesting. 32 CT special, though. One enemy with the highest attack for attack down. One enemy with the lowest defense for defense down. One enemy with the highest speed for speed down. And then dex teammates are given 3.5 times her recovery. See, that's just weird, right? Why the hell would they focus so much on giving her attack with her passive when her special doesn't do any damage that is the most backwards thing i've ever seen ever dude um i think it should have been maybe like a large horizontal range 3.5 times her attack that would have been so much better that's a little underwhelming i must admit that is very underwhelming evade special blind oh yeah this is a this is not a unit you would use in pvp absolutely not so once again we have another legend to talk about that is debuting here in this sugo fest before we talk about bond clay now this is a very interesting one because this is a super class character not a super type 
super class. We have the super class cerebral unit here. Here we have uh, Mr. Zero Crocodile, who is a dex cerebral driven character. His captain ability is a bloody novel, holy crap. Reduces cooldowns by one at the start of the quest. It will boost cerebral characters attack by five times. Uh, boost all other characters by 3.75. Gives them a 1.3 health boost. At the start of the battle, if the crew's HP is 70% or above, it's going to reduce all enemies HP by 10%. That's good. Every time you enter a new stage, boom, 10% health cut. That's pretty good. Um, and it says, if your cruise HP is 70% or above at the start of the attack, and if a cerebral character's normal attack is effective against the enemy's type, changes that character slot into character's own type. Oh, that's really good. So if you're above 70%, if you attack, and if you're hitting for super effective damage, you get a guaranteed matching slot. Very similar to um, Luffy and Zoro. When you attack with type advantage, you get given a Wano slot. Or Legend Bonnie, when you attack with type advantage, you get given a recovery slot. Very similar thing. If the crew's HP is 50% or below when you attack, heals the crew by 2,000 at the end of the turn and gives you a 20% damage reduction effect. Uh, it's a good captain ability. It's a very good captain ability. Lots going on. Um, cooldown, attack, health boost, and then lots of these additional effects that will happen depending on your health pretty good now remember he gets access to super class when he is the captain and it says when any of the following characters are on your crew so you got like luffy vv basically all of the um you know baroque works characters uh but then it says or if your cruise hp is below 50 percent that's basically it so as long as you get 50 percent or below you can get it so if you have the moby dick for example you can use the moby dick ship guaranteed to get it at the start of the quest now what it does it reduces all enemies health by 10 percent it changes empty block bomb recovery and g slots into matching and removes characters hp restrictions from the captain ability and sets the character's special launch status to one and cerebral characters become cere super cerebral so this may seem a bit confusing in terms of hp restriction and launch status for their special what it means is is when you launch a super class special his captain ability in terms of the hp restrictions where you have to be above 70 percent or below 50 percent to get certain abilities to activate after the super class special all of the effects are guaranteed to activate all the time that's basically what it does it's pretty incredible and when it talks about launch status for special we'll get into that right now so his special ability at a what is that 13 tone cooldown reduces the cerebral characters charge time by one it boosts cerebral characters attack by 2.5 for one turn if the crew's hp is 50 percent or below when the special is launched um or if your launch status is at one so saying if you use the super class special it's going to set it to one it'll give you a chain multiplier boundary starting at 3.0 for three turns. This is the best chain boundary effect in the game. We've seen it with, uh, you know, versus Ace, Wano Law, um, the switch effect of ulti page one, all 2.5 chain boundaries. This is the first chain boundary in the game that is a 3.0. And not only is it the best chain boundary in the game, it also lasts for three turns, unlike all of those other chain boundaries which we've talked about. This is incredible. And then also it says that even if you don't have have those effects active it's going to provide you with a 2.5 chain boundary for two turns otherwise so still going to give you a 2.5 chain boundary nonetheless but if you've had that super class special active then you get the 3.0 for three turns instead so just a 2.5 times attack and a 3.0 chain boundary is just nuts the amount of damage you get from that is so powerful this is hands down the best cerebral captain in the game he's incredibly strong so just captain super class and also the super types, or just the regular special, should I say, is just so powerful. And then his crewmate ability, resist special reverse by two, which works with his special because he reduces cooldown. And then cerebral characters, deck slots are matching, nothing special there. He has damage reduction, which when have we seen a legend release with damage reduction? Like that has been a really long time since that happened. And for some reason, he has hunger as well. Okay. And then he has a pinch healing effect, 1.5 times recovery healed if you land a perfect, which is pretty stock standard. And his support effect to Nico Robin and Mr. One says that if the crew is inflicted with a decreased chain multiplier or a chain lock, it reduces it by three turns and then gives you a 2.0 chain value, uh, chain boundary for one turn. That's also really good. Um, a pretty useful effect uh, that we'll, we'll likely see play. Very similar to Legend Cracker with his support. It's kind of similar to that, but it only attaches to to robin and mr one which is not bad because there are a lot of good robins in the game so it makes sense actually pretty good pretty good let's have a look at crocodile's pvp abilities so in pvp he's going to give dex teammates attack up level five and hp level three that's really good and every time he heals up to five times he gives himself level two attack up 
Um, that's actually pretty good. I don't mind that at all. That's really good. Uh, I, I've already got a video that I've got prepped that should be coming out literally tomorrow using a Dex offensive team. So that's a good passive that you'd probably want. Let's have a look at his effect. So 25 CT targets one enemy for 5,000 damage and gives himself 2,500 healing. That's actually not bad. I, I, I don't like the fact that his passive is so built around giving him attack when he's got a fixed damage special. Usually I hate that, but when you when you think about it, he is also healing himself for 2,500 heal every time he does his special. 25 CT is very low. I don't mind that at all. I think this character is perfectly acceptable. Would I use him on a dex team though? I don't know. Have, it's hard to find space on dex teams these days. Uh, it completely evades paralysis as well, which is pretty nice. So either way, uh, I think Crocodile is a really powerful legend and he's going to be an absolute monstrosity in regular content with, uh, with those cerebral teams for sure. Now, the last unit that we need to talk about before we end this video today is the brand new Mr. 2 Bon Clay himself, the brand new legend, Mr. 2 Bon Clay, friend of the Straw Hats. Now, Bon Clay is a super type. He is not super class, a super type Psy character. Fighter Free Spirit is his classes. Now, his captain ability will boost all characters' attack by five times with a matching slot, 4.5 otherwise, boost their health and their recovery by 1.3, and then makes recovery and tandem slots have matching slot effects. A very basic captain ability, but it's a good captain ability. Like, you can use anything you want under him. HP and recovery boost is super underrated because the amount of recovery that you're healing with that is pretty incredible. Um, so far seems okay let's have a look at the super type special it activates whenever you have a base attack boosting active that's basically it and his super type special gives you a 3.25 times chain lock for one turn and changes characters with the same type as this character into super typing so that's unique this is the first super type that we've seen that just says that specifically normally it would say changes side characters into super psi but there's something very interesting about his special ability which we will get into but still a 3.25 chain lock with a super type is actually pretty good that will help you out in a lot of circumstances but special ability changes this character's type and classes class one and class two to the selected type and classes reduces the crew special charge time by one and changes all slots including block into recovery and boosts the crew's base attack by 1500 for two turns so let that sink in guys this is the first character in the game that can not only change his typing but he can actually change his classes as well uh, this is a very unique effect, and I don't know in what ways this is going to be used, but I'm here for it, because I have a feeling this guy could have some very niche uses in getting around certain things. The fact that he can change his color to whatever he wants means that he can be super effective in whatever scenario you need him to be in, and I would assume that the fact that he changes his, his color and his classes, it doesn't mention for a certain amount of turns. I would assume it's just permanent until you activate the special again. So yeah, being able to be super effective against anything, and then his super typing, allowing you to be, you know, just get the super affinity against any typing that you want as well so you can build your team like full-on int when he is a psi unit and then during the quest just use his special and change his color like it's just it's super weird it's super funky and i don't know how good or bad this is going to be on paper it seems okay but the thing is, is his special doesn't really provide that much like a 1500 attack boost the base attack boost is fine but you really have to partner this up with other effects for it to be very useful and at a bare minimum he does still provide you with a full board of recovery slots that's really good um so that's cool either way but in terms of his crewmate abilities he makes recovery slots matching with his um crewmate effect that's good at least and then his crewmate effect also gives a base stat boost of 100 to all your characters he also has cooldown reduction at the start of the quest seven turns of cooldown so with uh cooldown sockets it goes to minus nine and then if you have a ship that's minus 10 he's already a 13 turn cooldown this is with limit break expansion so probably max out at a 14 turn so it's still not bad he's gonna have a really low cooldown at the start of the quest he has hunger removal as well and he also has pinch healing and his support effect attaches to luffy or crocodile and if the crew is inflicted with poison it gives you a 3000 heal uh, and a 300 base attack boost not a big fan of that though because he doesn't actually remove the poison for you he just gives you a heal um so that's a bit of a missed opportunity there would have loved if he removed that would have been very useful in a lot of circumstances definitely missed opportunity there that sucks so mr two in pirate rumble let's go ahead and have a look at his effects now despite the fact that his special allows him to change color and classes he is only a psi boosting unit in pvp giving psi units guard percent up level five crit percent up level five and hp level five not the best passive i must admit i mean crit percent up and guard percent are just 
a little bit too niche for my liking. Uh, not a very good passive in my opinion. But his special ability, 27 CT, is, is pretty okay actually. And it gives your side teammates critical percent up, blow away percent up, and guard percent up. All level 7 for 25 seconds. But then he targets 3 enemies for 3500 fixed damage. Um, the cooldown is very respectable for what he does actually. I think this is pretty good. I don't mind this at all. It's just a matter of would I really want to use a character like this in PvP when the side team is already really stacked for units. I guess if you are lacking a lot of the really powerful units you could potentially use someone like this but i think generally speaking this is not a unit you would probably use in pvp 3500 fixed damage is good and it's guaranteed to hit because it targets three enemies but uh, not the biggest fan of this unit in pvp unfortunately he does evade special bind though that's pretty that's pretty niche actually so anyways that is the breakdown of mr two bon clay a super unique ability super unique effects and i really cannot wait to see how people are going to be abusing this in content so he is all going to be available on this treasure map sugo fest along with the caesar and the uh, ivankov those three are likely going to be the highest point boosters but a lot of really good point boosters that are available in this sugo fest and they're only going to be on this sugo fest we don't know when they're going to be available in the future. Uh, in terms of the legends, though, the crocodile, um, the the koala, and also the bon clay, they're, they're going to be repeating over the months. And treasure map legend Sanji, I don't know if he's available on this banner either. We'll have to wait and see. I would assume that he is going to be here, but we'll have to wait and see, of course. But hopefully, you guys, did enjoy the video today, breaking down this brand new banner and brand new characters. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys i'll see you guys within the next video